In the brisk January of 1983, Welsh farmer Irwell Evans embarked on his routine journey across the frozen fields to tend to his flock of lambs. Little did he know that this seemingly ordinary day would soon unveil an extraordinary mystery that would captivate the imagination of many. As Evans traversed the expansive landscape of his family farm near Laniller, Wales, his keen eyes were drawn to an unusual sight. Scattered across the fields as far as the eye could see were metallic fragments glinting in the winter sunlight. The discovery extended over an area equivalent to three soccer fields, piquing Evans' curiosity and prompting further investigation. Upon closer examination, Evans noticed that not only were metals strewn across the land, but the treetops in a nearby forest bore signs of abrupt severance, hinting at some form of impact or disturbance. Concerned and intrigued, Evans promptly alerted the authorities, setting off a chain of events that would shroud the incident in secrecy and speculation. Responding to Evans' report, the police swiftly involved the Royal Air Force and agents from the British Defense Ministry, who descended upon the area to conduct meticulous searches and retrieve the scattered fragments. However, despite their presence and efforts, no official explanation for the incident was ever disclosed, and the details of that fateful night remained conspicuously absent from official records. Amidst the silence and uncertainty, local UFO investigator Gary Rowe seized the opportunity to delve into the enigma. Suspecting that remnants of the event might linger despite official cleanup efforts, Rowe embarked on his own investigation of the site. His persistence paid off when he unearthed six metal pieces and two fragments resembling aluminum foil, hidden away for over four decades as tangible evidence of the inexplicable event. Enter Mark Ollie, esteemed presenter of Ancient Aliens and professor at Chester University, whose insatiable curiosity led him to unravel the mysteries shrouding the Welsh farmer's encounter. In his quest for truth, Ollie reached out to Roe, who reluctantly parted with some of the elusive fragments for further examination. The samples journeyed across continents to laboratories in Australia and the United States, where their composition defied conventional explanation. The Australian analysis revealed an aluminum composition, albeit in a form unknown to exist in 1983. Aluminum foam, a material seemingly ahead of its time. Meanwhile, the American findings posed an even greater conundrum, identifying the presence of lanthanum, an exceptionally rare and expensive metal with no discernible terrestrial origin. In light of these groundbreaking revelations, Ollie posited a provocative theory that the fragments recovered from the Welsh field may be remnants of a craft derived from extraterrestrial technology, reverse, engineered, or otherwise. The implications were profound, challenging conventional notions of reality and inviting speculation into the possibility of otherworldly encounters. In the absence of definitive answers, the enigma of the Welsh farmer's discovery endures as a testament to the inexplicable and the tantalizing prospect of the unknown, beckoning humanity to peer beyond the veil of ordinary perception and embrace the mysteries that lie beyond.